But yeah, basically this is one giant quick time event. Basically, all you have to do, you don't have to aim, you don't, you can't move the ship at all to dodge stuff. You just have to shoot everything by pressing the button that appears on it. And there actually is a boss battle in this, but it's kind of dumb as well. The music's pretty awesome though. Kinda reminds me of a song from Sonic Heroes, but I can't think of what the song is. Maybe I'm thinking of the. I'm either thinking of this, the Grand Metropolis level, like the giant power plant type place, or the very first level, like the ocean place. I never remember the names in that game. Oh well. And yeah, you can just alternate pressing L1 and R1 to recharge your laser power, but really, you should never have to do that because it re regenerates anyway. And there's never enough enemies that you really need to, so, whatever. And basically the only way to get a S rank on this is to basically not get hit and not miss. Is basically all I can say. Because everything else is speed, like the speed is determined anyway. And some of the enemies you don't even have to kill. Like, if, as long as they don't shoot you, you can just let them pass. They won't even run into you. It's kind of weird. But they're just there for points. Just kind of a catchy little tune, I don't know. I really love the lighting in this game. It looks just phenomenal. Yeah, back off with the missiles, buddy. Jeez. And there's also a trophy for beating the stage without getting hit once, which is actually pretty easy. But I usually screw up somewhere on the boss. Just some stupid slip of the fingers or something. And I don't get that either. You press three buttons and five enemies die. Whatever. Come on. Die, little hoops. Oh, God. He almost hit me. That would not have been good. But yeah, basically, know your way around the controller, and these levels are a piece of cake. And really, all I have to know is the four regular, the four standard buttons. None of these shoulder buttons you have to worry about at all. You don't have to worry about the sticks or any of the directional pad buttons or anything. Just the four buttons. Pretty easy stuff. Some of the day stages get brutal, though, later on. But it's still like Sonic 06's ranking system where you can die at the last checkpoint and still get a B. Like Eggman Land, the first time I went through it, like, I died, like, so many times at the end. And I ended up still getting a B because they gave you so many points at the end. It's ridiculous. At least there's no mock speed sections in this. Oh, God. When I ever do Sonic 06, you'll see my frustration and how much I hate the speed, the high speed sections. And this is actually the boss music for the day uh, stage bosses. Oh, I love that little robot. We'll meet him later on. But that one that was just talking. No, really. Big robot in way. How are we going to get past it? I don't know. Blow it up? Jeez, Tails, you are a genius. But yeah, this really isn't that type of a fight. You just wait for that main cockpit thing, big opening to open, and then you just press whatever button it says five times, and it'll take off a chunk of his health bar. So really, the time of this battle really just depends on if you mess up with the button presses. You can't speed it up at all. And I hate when they come off the side of the screen like that, because they don't give you much, much, yeah, much warning. That's usually where I screw up, because I just can't... I never am that quick. I usually have pretty fast reflexes, I don't know why I screw up on those parts, but... Crap, I fired an extra shot. And if you do fire an extra shot or press the wrong button, you will lose more energy from your energy meter. Crap. See, I usually mess up like that where I'm worried with other stuff and I don't really pay attention. Oh well. Do 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 do. I don't even know how Sonic can even tell that the thing's open anymore, because there's just smoke everywhere. And I love how the missiles that you fire 
color corresponding to the button, too. Like, the ones for the X button are blue, because the X on the controller is blue. It's kind of cool. Which is actually a difference between the 360 and PS3 versions, which actually there aren't very many. So, yeah, I didn't get the, uh, complete the stage without getting hit thing, but... I'm gonna guess I got a B. Because I think the very first time I did this, I got hit a couple times, and... Although I didn't keep that good of a combo, so... Ah, whatever, we'll find out. Da -da -da -da. Hey, ha, ha Take that. Silly game. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, do This is actually... Uh, we're now in Spagonia. This seems like the most well-developed hub. It just seems like they took a lot more time to make a little secret pathways and stuff. And the last place we were in Apatos, uh, was a lot of people say it, you know, it's Greece, and I would definitely agree with that, having been to Greece myself. Um, I would definitely say that play, uh, it resembles Greece a great deal. Um, I think there's a moon metal over here somewhere. No, never mind. Um... But yeah, this place kind of reminds me of Italy. I always thought they were, in this game they were going for a uh, separate continent, like real world continent in each level, but with Greece and Italy, that would be two Italys, or two Europes, so I'm kind of, I've been racking my brain trying to figure that out, but I don't think I ever will. Oh well, I don't really care. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the last one was Greece, this one's Italy. A what? Oh god, he, this, that guy has a line. It's amazing. <laughs> I love that line. It's a whole pack of robots. But yeah, that that's the guy I was talking about that's also voiced by Jason Griffith and has a ridiculous voice. He just sounds like a whiny little stupid. He's gotta be real hungry by now. You and your food. I love the little sound effect of that just keeps going on while the cutscene keeps going. It's kind of funny. Oh, at least I thought it did. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's still going when he goes back in the body, though. It's kind of funny. Anyways. Let's go ahead and move on. I believe we're heading off to Missouri next. We have to talk to one person to find out that we have to go to Missouri, but for the most part, they don't make you talk to people. You can pretty much just run to the levels and you're fine. Um, but this part actually makes you talk to people, so... I don't remember who exactly you're supposed to talk to, though. Um, is it him? Yeah. Nope, not him. Um, I kind of remember who it is. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's her. That's right. Oh my, what are you doing screaming about? Yeah, oh no, it's not her. Never mind. Forget what I said. I thought it was a big lady. That's right. Okay, it's her. So now we gotta head off to Missouri and it. This stage, uh, we do the day stage for it first. I actually think this day stage music is my favorite in the entire game. Um, but also I really like, uh, Spagonia's day stage music and, uh, Apatos's. I kind of, like, actually like them all a lot, but... It's hard to pick favorites. Missouri's is pretty awesome, though. It's hard to... And it was, I believe it was the first song ever debuted for the game. I think it was used in the, uh, very first trailer. Again, yeah, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. Whatever. Oh, loading, I hate you. Uh, aha, noises. Oh yeah, they start you off in the night part for some reason. Um. Oh yeah, yeah you do have to do the night stage first. Crap. I forgot. Oh well. Take my word that the day stage music is awesome, even though you won't hear it yet. We gotta do another Werehog stage. 
And actually, I think I will do that in the next part. Yeah, I will. So after this loading screen, I'm gonna say goodbye. Alright, and with that, I will see you guys later.